Okay, this will be an interesting one. Well, it looks boring, but we can make it into something interesting, hopefully. I wonder what background colour. I'm going to give it yellow. Happy colour, I like to call it. I'm going to cool down the hue, but not all the way. see how we go oh we left an original on the glass from another demo so we're just going to put that away and we're just going to get a current image so this image here from a, a museum pamphlet or, or flyer or whatever you want to call it leaflet so we're just going to put it up in the corner there I wonder how big we're going to make it gonna, we're not going all the way 400 Gonna make it 340 by 340. So hopefully that'll that'll work out. So let's see how we go with that. So I'm just gonna slip and slide it. Okay, let's see how that goes. It's not easy to control movement, so you've got to get get. Sometimes you just got to get used to doing it more more than one take. But this take has worked out really well, and the yellow has come up really well in this image. So I'm thinking, some ways I like it, some ways I don't. But I'm thinking that's going to be the the image, the middle of the page. So we're just going to consign this to the uh, recycle pile. And let's see if we can improve on, on, use this as a nice master copy. So we're just going to set this up. So, actually wondering where the picture's going to be. The, the, it's going to be enlarged off. We're going to enlarge it off a bit. It's got a bit of uh, colour in the border. So it's a bit, got to get rid of some of the border. So 104 by... 104 and we're just gonna change things around we're just gonna get rid of these superfluous settings so we're just gonna get rid of that get rid of that yellow is a color I associate with happiness actually I'm gonna just put that in the middle Maybe we're going to keep that in the hue. We're just going to put the hue in the middle. I think that's pretty much it. So now we're just going to take our master copy and make something interesting out of it. It's an interesting image we have here. So now we'll just put it on the glass and we're just going to line up, overlap the edges of the page and just close the dock feeder and see what we get. Press the button, of course, and see what we get. Press the button. Make three button pushes to get to see what we get. Stupid Conniger Minolta design, indeed. So let's see how this one comes out. Yeah, that looks quite nice. And, yeah, nice and hot. Nice, warm-looking image. So I'm thinking we're going to keep it like that. And we're just going to press press off some more. So we're just going to hit that. All right, out it comes. And that's going to go up here. So we're just going to move that across a little bit. And we're just going to put this up in the top corner like so. And we're now going to make two 
mirror images of this. See how we go. So we're just going to find our mirror image button and switch it on. See how we go. Uh, hopefully we won't. Hopefully we'll get. We won't have a problem with the original size being wrongly detected, which often happens with irregular originals or reg regular settings, whatever, reg irregular originals. And I think maybe also in combination with enlargement and positioning of the original, but this one's turned up properly. This time, we didn't get it this time. So let's see how we go color, not color wise, uh, putting it together. So now we're just going to line up these pieces, these segments. See if we can do it properly. So that's that one there. And so we're just going to line these up like so. Oops. It's a bit curly at the end, end there. So I'm just trying to align these while showing it on camera which is a challenge anyway that looks interesting i'm actually still not happy with the positioning of this i'm just nudging it into place i think that's adequate i think now we can call this demo quits